The missile fired from Yemen was intercepted above Tel Aviv. Hours after world powers warned against an extension of the war in the Middle East. On the border between Lebanon and Syria, several Syrian soldiers were killed in a strike on a military site, according to the national news agency. The Israeli Air Force says its priority now is to destroy armed transfers from Iran to Hezbollah, striking dozens of targets on the border. In New York, diplomats are racing to find a deal to end the war and avert a new escalation. After Israeli Prime Minister rejected the idea of a ceasefire... My policy, our policy is clear. We are continuing to strike Hezbollah with full force. His office said reports on an imminent ceasefire were fake news, a mere plan from the U.S. and France he had not replied to. The U.S. and France said that, on the contrary, Netanyahu was aware of the plan. Uh, Israel uh, was aware uh, of the statement. And now, what I can tell you right now, we are having continued discussions that is happening with our teams in New York. We will work hard in the hours to come in order to convince Israel to commit and um, indeed deliver the ceasefire for 21 days, which will be the unique occasion to have a diplomatic way forward in order to secure people on both sides of the border. Netanyahu's office says that the Israelis are working on a deal to end violence on the Lebanese border, but not through a ceasefire, which they believe would allow Hezbollah to regroup. Tens of thousands of people have fled the border area in Lebanon and in Israel, where almost a year of rocket fire escalated in recent days. On the Lebanese side, more than 700 people were killed in cross-border fire in less than a week.